Yeah, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. I know I'm not so parking. Let all the whirlwind of the past couple of days settle down. The whirlwind of the past hour, getting the food ready and everything. Let it all subside. Just be here with your body in the present moment. Try to fully inhabit the body from the top of the head down to the soles of the feet. And then when it breathes in and out, notice where you'd feel the breathing. It might be in some places you might not expect. That's perfectly fine. There's a lot going on in here that you might not expect. You want to get in touch with what's actually happening right here, right now. And that's when you can deal with it skillfully. If you come in with a lot of preconceived notions about how things should be, you can create a lot of trouble for yourself. But if you just get in touch with what's there, and then you begin to notice, does this feel well? Does this feel right? Does it feel comfortable? If it doesn't, what can you do to change? You begin to realize there's a lot of issues inside that need straightening out. Rather than trying to straighten out the world outside, straighten out what's going on inside here first. Because as life passes on, pretty much this is what you've got left. Things in the world keep changing. You go back to your old home from your childhood and nothing's left, or very little is left. Even your body. What it was five years ago is not that way anymore. And it's going to keep changing. So what have you got? You've got your awareness right here, right now. And that's what you're ultimately trying to get in touch with. But the best way to get in touch with the awareness is a little bit indirectly. You get in touch with how you feel the body from within first. And then gradually the focus will shift to the awareness of the body and what's going on in there, what kind of thoughts are coming up, how they're coming up, how the mind negotiates among its various thoughts. You get to see that a lot more clearly. You get to begin to see how you can gain some more control over your thinking. Because ultimately it's our thinking that drives us crazy. We get latched on to an idea and it just seems to be there and it's a reality. When you learn how to take it apart, you begin to realize, well, it's like someone playing a part in a play. It's not always that way. That particular truth of that thought is not always that way. It just comes and it goes. And you can notice what kind of effect it has on the mind, and you begin to realize some thoughts you just can't allow to come. They come in and you've got to figure out an effective way of freeing yourself from them. You can't repress them because then they'll come back underground, but you find ways of dismantling them so they don't have that power they used to have over the mind. This is when the mind gets free. This is the real freedom, the freedom from the power of our own thoughts. So that your understanding of what's really good for you will develop, and your understanding of what's good for you comes out and takes charge. That's when the mind is, is no longer burdened. That's when it's no longer suffering. So it takes some time to get in touch right here. That's for the world outside. We take care of it as we can. But we don't want to lose the f sight of the fact that this is our primary focus, your awareness of the body from within, your awareness of your awareness from within. That's where all the important lessons of life begin.